Today I'm gonna attempt to do something with my livestock guardian dog that I have never ever done before. I'm gonna take him to the groomer. Hey Molly Barncat, how are you doing up there? Be careful, sweetheart. Today's video could get very interesting and it's sponsored by my friends over at the Ridge Wallet. Hey Toby Dog, how's it going buddy boy? We got a surprise for you today. First I'm gonna have to dry you off though because we just got some rain. You're a little messy, pal. Now Toby Dog hates to leave the farm and it's usually a battle to get him out of here when I have to take him for vet appointments or other things. That's why he actually rarely leaves the farm. Hey Toby, can you come here? Toby, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, Toby. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> You're coming with me, pal. Come on. Come on. I'm going to need you to come. Come on, Toby. Oh. Am I going to have to pick you up? I think I might have to. Oh, dear. Into the truck you go, pal. Whew, he is a heavy dog. It's okay, buddy. I know, you're nervous. It's okay. Here. Let me give you a treat. Toby. Yeah, like I said, Toby is never a fan of leaving the farm. Try to stay calm. We're just heading to the groomers. So usually I try to take care of all of Toby Dog's grooming needs myself. I brush him pretty close to daily. I trim his nails when I need to. I brush his teeth on a very rare occasion because he's not a very big fan of it. You know, he is a working dog and, and he has a job on our farm, but that doesn't mean I also don't love him and I don't try to take care of him like he's a family member and, and so, I try to give him the very best. But despite my efforts in, in trying to, to do my best in grooming Toby, many viewers have suggested that I should try to take him to a professional groomer. Some because they're concerned that he might get mad at fur. Others are just actually a little bit more curious to see how he would react to the pampering. And so I've actually finally decided to give it a shot. So I went on a, a local message board and found uh, a woman that everybody in our area here swears by. And so. We're taking him over to her place, which is, I don't know, about a 25 minute, 30 minute drive from the farm. We're gonna get him groomed, see what he ends up looking like, and head back to the farm by the end of this video. So this should be pretty interesting. How are you doing back there, Mr. Toby Dog? Is everything okay? Okay, and away we go. All right, we're almost there. You ready for this, Toby Dog? I think it's gonna be okay. It's probably gonna be a little bit scary for you, but I think you're gonna enjoy actually getting primped and pampered and groomed properly. He is panting like crazy, which means he's very nervous. Okay, buddy, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, all right, all right. We just get a leash on you. You okay, buddy boy? Hi, buddy. Yeah, he's very friendly. Boy, oh, he's a boy. Come on in. Come on, buddy. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, Toby. Come on, pal. I know, all these unfamiliar smells. See some of this stuff here, as soon as I get water on it, it'll completely mat. <clears throat> Where? We get it out now. Oh, yeah, it's hey, okay. I won't okay, Toby. Yeah, we're not gonna have now, much Why don't you pay attention to me? Here. This will take us a couple hours, just. Oh, it's okay. Don't like colleagues either. I wouldn't need it, I'm a farm dog. <laughs> Good boy, good boy. It's okay, pal. That's a good boy. So normally what I would do here is at least shave like a little bit right here. Um, do you, I mean, would you recommend it? I would. I mean, see how he has like some, some, you know, items. Yeah, stuck? yeah, yeah. That's all that's gonna. All right, I guess go for yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna be good. I know. I mean, <laughs> here, let me help you. That's a good boy. Oh, I know. It's okay. Really, this it's is no okay. one's favorite thing. <laughs> Nobody wants to be doing this. Sorry, bud. <laughs> There we go. Okay, you're all done. Good boy. The awkward part is done. Is I know. Oh, it's like, yeah. we just met, lady. <laughs> <laughs> that area will, will probably like not mat because you do very well with brushing, but that's where it kind of like bunches the most. Yeah. So that, let me actually break up the back half of his leg. You want to keep this fur, right? Yeah, if we could. All that'd of be awesome. it as much as you can. As much as we can, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. How are you cleaning this? 
Um, basically, the same way you do like sheep's wool. So you do like a bash, wash, and dry. What a good boy. You maintain him really well. Thanks. He's like, yeah, I do this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty used to it. You can see. <laughs> Have you blow dried him before? No. So that, that, I'm ready for that to be the thing he probably hates the most out of this whole experience. He's not going to love the bath either. Good boy. No, I just cleaned the pads out so he doesn't have hair, as much hair in between. See, like, if you look at one of his back feet, looks like, come here, boy. Let's see how much hair is, like, in between sticking out. Yep. Good job, Tiggs. You're a big fluff off. This is a good Monday. <laughs> Come on, Toby. Come on down. All right, buddy boy. You ready for this? Come here. Get him up in there. There we go. We won't use a stick this time. Had a bath before? I have never bathed him. Nice. Like once every two months is good. Pretty much no more than once a month. Is right. Like, yeah, no, I've actually what? avoided it just because he's never really needed it. No, it's only two. Yeah. Can you brush him as well as he is? Yeah. Other than like, if you just wanted like a, you know, the smell. But he's in the barn all the time. So yeah, he's out an outdoor dog. I mean, yeah. he gets a rain bath every so often too. Now is probably as good a time as any to talk to you today about our sponsor, Ridge Wallet. You know, about a month and a half ago, Ridge Wallet approached me and asked if they could sponsor some of our videos. And I was kind of skeptical because I'd never really used them. After they sent me a sample, it's been incredible owning and using one of these Ridge wallets. You see the Ridge wallet is a minimalist wallet that holds up to 12 cards as well as your cash all in one easy package that you can just toss in your pocket. The Ridge wallet means you don't have to walk around going through life like your George Costanza. <laughs> The Ridge Wallet is RFID protected, so if somebody's trying to skim your card, you're protected against that. This thing is sleek, it's easy to use, it looks really cool, and it comes in about 30 different colors. At this point, the Ridge Wallet is the only type of wallet I would recommend for somebody to own. And right now, if Goldshaw Farm viewers wanna get 10% off their own Ridge Wallet, all you have to do is use the link down below and type in the coupon code, Goldshaw Farm. So be sure to take advantage of this offer today. Now let's get back inside and see how Toby's doing. Being such a good boy, pal. I'm he's very like, I'm impressed getting, with the behavior. He's right? like, I'm getting massage. Like, <laughs> give me a cookie and leave me alone. You're getting, he's like, <laughs> you're getting beef tonight. You know that, right? Just for how well behaved you've been. <laughs> crazy, right? That is crazy. <laughs> You're so smooth and silky. <laughs> Luxurious.
It's amazing what it does. I've never realized it. This is the most important part of the run. You're almost home free. I'm for good enough. And you're gonna be so happy when you get home tonight. Trust me, okay? It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's okay, bud. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, did you, I thought I thought you did that. <laughs> did you turn off the vacuum there, buddy? <laughs> Look, we're gonna either cut that or we're gonna braid it. It's your choice. Let's <laughs> do some braids on that. <laughs> Well, that went way, way better than I expected. I had visions of Toby being absolutely terrified and cowering in the corner and freaking out. But instead, he was pretty chill the entire way through. So, Toby Dog, I just want to say right now, you did a great job, buddy. And speaking of doing a great job, I also want to give a shout out to uh, Nakia, who did the grooming. You know, she came recommended to me by some other folks in my local area and it was awesome. Like number one, it was nice that her place was actually on a little farm, you know, rather than being in say like a strip mall or like downtown St. Johnsbury. And so Toby was, I think much more at ease because all he was doing was going from one farm to another. Also, she just did a th very thorough job. She was great with Toby, you know, very professional. So I, I really appreciated her. So if you guys are looking for a dog groomer in the greater St. Johnsbury area, Lindenville area, um, check her out. I'll leave her information down in the, the description of the video so you guys can reach out directly. So thank you, Nakia. But I'm sure you guys are dying to get a good look at Toby and see how all this good work turned out. So uh, let's head back to the farm and we'll do that. Okay, Toby dog. Out you go, buddy boy. You're free. Let me get your leash off. Good job, you're looking so good. And you're back home. Go do your necessaries, go for it. Chickens and geese don't even recognize you, bud. <laughs> you're just gonna go lay in that muddy pile, huh? You're looking really good there, Toby Dog. You're looking so good. No, you're already getting dirty. <laughs> I am super impressed with how good Toby looks. He's just so bright and shiny white and petting his fur is so soft and fluffy right now. It's pretty darn incredible. You know, I feel like I do a pretty good job with brushing Toby and taking care of him and, and keeping him in good hygiene, but I realize that Nakia does a much better job. And so I do think in the future, I'll probably take him there, I don't know, maybe a couple times a year just for a, a major grooming. I'll continue to do my regular brushing of him and maintenance uh, in between that. But look, you know, Toby Dog is a farm dog. He's a working dog, he has a job. But that doesn't mean that I'm released from having to take good care of him as the owner. And so doing something like this is something that I would place under that category of taking good care of him. And when you look at the from two of Toby Dog, like where he started earlier today, as well as where he's ending up today. It's quite impressive. And speaking of from twos, if you look at my shirt right now, I'm not sure if black was the best color choice for the project of the day. So I'm gonna actually run inside and go change and I'll let Toby Dog stay out here and he will probably just go and get himself muddy. Isn't that right, buddy boy? You can't help but roll around in the mud. You're just an old mud dog. That's what you are. And I still love you for it there, pup.